Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Rogers, President and CEO of the Beaver Creek Chamber of Commerce, and I am here today with one of our newest members, Jake Courtney of Millennial FP. Hi Jake. Hi. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your business. Sure. So um, I've been in the financial advice industry for about nine years, Wonderful. right out of college, um, and um, I've had a passion for helping my generation, mm -hmm. and so uh, what I've realized throughout my time in the financial advice industry is that uh, the majority of the conversation has been all about retirement planning mm -hmm. for those that are close to retirement. And so um, if you look at a commercial from a well-known financial services firm, mm -hmm. um, you'll see um, elderly couples playing with their grandchildren uh, or, or uh, basically marketing towards retired sure. you know, individuals and sure. retired families. And so, uh, but what, what I've noticed is that not a whole lot of advisors or a lot of financial services mm -hmm. um, companies market towards younger families, sure. even though younger families tend to have a lot going on in their lives. It's getting really complicated Absolutely. Um, from a financial standpoint. So that doesn't mean that they don't have questions, right? right? Well, like you said, they have a lot of going on and they have a lot of events in their life too because, and I've always heard, you know, you need to start investing and planning for your future when you're young, right? So that you have that nest egg built up and, you know, your age group that you're looking for, I mean, they're starting new families, they're buying houses, they're kind of moving forward in their career, maybe changing careers. So having those investments set up early makes a huge difference. Right, yeah, and, and then with so many years before retirement, mm -hmm. It's not just about retirement. It's like you mentioned, with the opportunity to plan for something that's going mm -hmm. to be in the next five, 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. instead of waiting until we're 60 to be able to enjoy that. Right. Um, those are the types of things that we can plan for if we start early enough. Well, I love that and I think that's great. I wish I would have known more about financial planning when I was younger because that could have really made a huge difference. So I love that you're meeting with younger people and kind of giving them that direction because if they plan well enough and make some great investments with you, I mean, when they're looking at like that new house or maybe college for the mm -hmm. kids, you've got a nest egg kind of set up there that right. you can draw from and it's not income based, right? Right, yeah, yeah, so. exactly, yeah. And it's, it's also, it's not necessarily just about the numbers either. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of people just completely avoid having the conversation about money. Sure. Um, simply because it, it might feel overwhelming. I mean, mm -hmm. after all, we weren't ever taught this in high school. Right, um, right. If we were, I think I remember <laughs> taking a class in high school about uh, balancing a checkbook, right. which we don't <laughs> use anymore. Uh, but but um, it's important to have an advisor, have a planner that's going to educate first mm -hmm. and, and to get you to, to understand it and, and feel confident about your financial decisions because Maybe if we feel more confident or, or we understand it more, maybe we'll be more willing to talk about it right. more, especially with each other as, as spouses. I mean, that's right. that money is one of the leading causes to, to divorce. And right. so, um, you know, if we get on a level playing field in terms of understanding that with each other early enough, maybe someone that's just been married, imagine right. how, how much better that can be throughout marriage. Oh, that's incredible. And just the fact that they're talking to somebody who's the same age yep. and is going through the same situations. I mean, you can be like, you know, listen, I tried this and this didn't work, or I wish I would have done this, right. you know, five years ago. So that's wonderful that you can speak to that age group and really give them like real time experience, right. not only the knowledge of financial planning. Right. And in some previous conversations with Jake, he told me this really great policy that he has. It's yeah. called your no tie policy right so tell me about that yeah i love it i love it <laughs> so so yeah so um as a virtual financial planning service mm -hmm. so we only meet with clients um when it's convenient for them and in a method that's convenient for them over mm -hmm. a google meet um, we have a strict no tie policy because because <laughs> what uh you know what what i've seen throughout throughout um my time in the industry is that um going back to the, the intimidation and the overwhelmingness mm -hmm. with financial decisions. When you're meeting with somebody that, that has a suit and tie on and you're wearing you know, a, a t-shirt or right. a quarter zip or something <laughs> like this, it can often feel like they're intimidating and it, it, it can feel overwhelming. You don't wanna ask the wrong question. And in reality, there are no wrong questions when it comes sure. to finances, but the fact that someone has 
a, t a suit and tie on, it might feel like they're either selling you something or they know a lot more than you, and so you don't want to ask the wrong questions. Right. And so, um, yeah, so we have a, no sh a strict no tie policy, <laughs> frankly, because I work from home, and it'd be kind of weird yeah. to be wearing a suit and tie or at, 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 uh, in my home office. But, um, but yeah, just to maybe hope, hope to uh, start the conversation a little yeah. bit with a little bit more uh, empathy and a little bit more um, um, approach, uh, be yeah. a little bit more approachable with it. I love that. That is perfect, and it totally speaks to your age demographic. Yep. Absolutely. So, Jake, how can people get a hold of you? Yeah, so you can visit our website at millennialfp.com. Uh, you can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at millennialfp.com. And also, we have a phone number, 937-907-0018. So, once again, it's millennialfp.com. And by the way, millennial has two N's in it. So, <laughs> I get... A lot of people sure. get that uh, mixed up. So there's two ends in millennial. <laughs> I love that. And you can also, of course, go on to our member directory at the chamber at beavercreekchamber.org and find all of Jake's contact information. Well, Jake, thank you so much for being here today. Thank it was a pleasure. Me. Yeah, it was a pleasure here.